Welcome back to Easy Spirit 101. Today we are doing a general message for Divine Collective. We've got the um, full moon eclipse happening today. It was either last night or, or tonight. 5-5, five, five, right? Out with the old, in with the new. 55 is out with the old, in with the new. So we're doing a reading here about what what we need to know what this full moon eclipse um what kind of energy it's bringing in for divine collective here um i did a reading yesterday on instagram um really really good energy there a lot of us who are on our divine counterpart journey or very much so on a personal spiritual journey a lot of us are awakening a lot of us are shedding old negative beliefs old um, negative unhealthy habits um, and other things uh, childhood wounds etc all of that baggage is being released and we're having this big group group awakening right now which is amazing and and beautiful that's you know for those of you who that's true for you your your whole world's about to change okay your your inner world is changing your outer world is going to start changing really amazing um so i already have a couple of cards pulled here and right away when the believe in the impossible came out um, I could tell this is really about those of you who are tapping into manifesting. You're really focused on trying to manifest something specific. Um, you may be reading, you may have been studying, you're learning about the law of attraction, watching videos, um, whatever it is, reading books, whatever it is. You, someone here is tapping into the law of attraction for manifesting. So that's really this, this part of this five, five is going to push you into the next level of this manifestation. Um, we're in this place of releasing the negativity. This is already happening, but, but keep this up here. Okay. It says communication is key. Communication is key when you are manifesting. How are you saying it out into the universe? How are you saying it during your visualizations? How are you talking about it to yourself when you're about your day, day to day business? Are you still complaining with your, your friends, your coworkers? Um, that's part of this negativity that has to go when you're manifesting. Because for those of you who know and those of you who don't know, negativity, negative emotions, doubt, anger, um, resentment, whatever frustrations, sadness, etc. literally slows down, slows down. Imagine that you're, you're a magnet and or imagine that you are a vacuum. You're the vacuum and everything you actually want or are manifesting is right out here in the space, out, out in the outer space. And it's, it's coming towards you. You're sucking it in towards you. The minute you negativity it, the minute, the minute this comes in, it stops. Your vacuum shuts off. Okay. So that's what they're talking about here. Communication is key right now because we're moving into the next step of this manifestation. And even though this is a general reading, let's see if we can pull some more, see some more about what we're manifesting here. What is, what is the collective? What are some things collective is manifesting right now?
Wow. A lot of you are really trying after, um, this is about financial abundance. Some of you are specifically really just trying to manifest a larger flow of money towards you, or you run your own business and you're manifesting, um, success in your business. And you've got abracadabra with wings. This is, um, a couple of things. It's kind of a good omen, but it's also, you know, you're manifesting more good fortune, more lucky chances, etc. And this is also confirmation that that is what's coming. This is part of what this, um, this is part of what's coming behind this this full moon here, full moon um, eclipse, um, this, I'm going to go ahead and call this out because I feel like someone, someone needs to know this while you're manifesting. Work with the earth element here, okay? Ask element of earth for grounding, stability, and strength in times of chaos. So this is something that's tripping you up. When, when, when things are getting rough around you, um, this right here is slipping in for you and you're falling off the track. So work with the earth element and it says, ask earth, ask earth or ask prayer, what, however it is that you, you operate personally, um, focus on seeking in grounding. If you can't think of anything else just say a prayer um pray for extra grounding in that moment that is kind of tipping you off tipping you off of your uh your path there you're on the straight path towards this prosperity and this right here is kind of your challenge but you are overcoming this challenge All right, what else do we need to see about this? What else? Spirit, what is this 5-5? Five, five? Out with the old and with the new. What is coming in here? Nice. This was out on my last reading, wasn't it? Yes, completion, balance here. Something is coming full circle. Goddess energy here. You are harnessing your true, this true power that, you know, once you cross over and you're going through that awakening, you recognize that you have access. You can tap into this true goddess universal power here. And that's going to push you through this gate. It's like you've been on the other side of this gate looking out going, how do I, how do I get from here over to there? And you're figuring it out and it's happening. You're coming into balance. You're coming into this full circle moment so this is a very powerful um <clears throat> very powerful full moon eclipse here yes this is like your confidence your true self your true being your i am i am this I am this. This is who I really am. Nothing that was, happened in the past. The magician. You're the true ma ma magician here. You see this? This here? This It's like this balancing of energy. This balancing of, um, you know, power. Who you are you've been since you were born on this planet who you've known yourself to be and who you're becoming as you tap into your your spiritual power your spiritual gifts 
this is everyone's birthright. Everyone has, everyone's, everyone has the potential and capacity to tap into this, this, this power. Wow. So for those of you who saw the video yesterday, I've got two more cards that came out. So these cards really want to come out here, okay? And this is someone who spends a lot of time in their head. You don't need to spend a time, the time in your head focusing on what's not working and closed doors, okay? You're only looking at open doors. Open doors, moving forward. High Priestess, yes, this, this goes along with that Goddess of the Moon card. This is amazing, and congratulations to those of you in the collective who have really been putting the work in. It's not easy. It's not easy to let that heartbreak go, that, that negativity, that pain from your past. Ace of Cups coming in here. New beginnings and prosperity all the way around. I really am getting next to this Three of Swords. This, this isn't just about um, manifesting riches and, and um, of course, I did a reading not long ago that that, that literally came out there. That um, I was getting back and back mess messages here. For those of you who are really focused on your financial success, your business prosperity, and um, focused on bringing some sort of divine union into play here and grounded in the 3D. Um, and I really am getting the feeling that success is coming in both capacities, whether you realize it or not. Whatever this, whatever this power, this power you're tapping into, whatever has been keeping you stuck in the past, you're coming out of it now. Whatever um, delays, setbacks, interference has come in the past, actually, physically, you stepping into this energy, this high priestess goddess energy here is giving you the power to like bend and transform the struggle. This is a lot about like changing your inner world. You change your inner world, and you watch your outer world expand. Yes, Six of Pentacles. This is my my karmic balance card here. Oh, sh the front door. For those of you with the divine union um, that you're you've been working hard on manifesting, or just kind of trying to wait on because it was such a struggle, and you're you know in your heart that um, you feel like it's meant to be, but it looked like it was just never going to freaking come. 
right? It's just been an uphill battle, a struggle. It is coming. This is coming in. This is that karmic balance, that karmic justice universe. Things coming into balance here. This is your emperor in the upright. And some of you are um, Divine Masculine too that are waking up on this journey. And um, that's for you too. All of this is for Divine Feminine and Masculine who are on the journey. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? This is about answering your deepest calling. Lots of like this powerful holding this sword energy. Holding a sword is representative of warrior energy and power. right inner temple tuning in to the truth inside of you this definitely goes along with that awakening energy that i pulled out yesterday you've been training yes that is amazing <clears throat> this power has been accumulating for lifetimes most of you, I'm not even going to hesitate this time because most of you who are watching this, who are this far, if you know this reading is for you and you are awakening spiritually, um, most of you are aware of past lives or even may have past life memories stored within your soul. You've been training, you've been accumulating this power and this knowledge for literally lifetimes. So it's all there. It's all inside of you to tap into. This is divinely guided. Everything you're thinking and feeling right now, that's absolute yes. This is yes. This is true. This is really happening. Your whole world is about to change in love and finances. And what's funny about that is, yeah, on the bottom, original light workers. What's funny about that is um, those of you who are really focused on your business and manifesting um, the finances, you're kind of not thinking about the love or you may even, you know, give up on love or just don't care. It's funny because it's going to take you by surprise. A lot of you who are really manifesting the prosperity, love is going to come in behind it. And a lot of you are manifesting the love, the money is going to come in behind it. The money, the business, success. I'm going to get a few more for those of you going into Divine Union. Just because I have this deck right here and why not? <clears throat> this is a... Um, Full moon eclipse reading so what do we need to know here about those going into moving towards divine union yeah this divine union is about to hit um deeper level of commitment finances what did i just say that finances and the career success are coming with this union 
so there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Lots of people who've been putting in this work on this journey are about to get seriously blessed. Keep an open mind moving forward. And anytime you get stuck, just call out to your, gu uh, your guides. I don't know why I almost said guards. Guardians. Could be guardian angels for some of you. Call out to your guardian angel, please. Let them help you. Especially someone here is really feeling like the someone here is feeling the pain of a separate of this separation or a separation. Definitely call out for guidance there and peace and comfort. That is almost over anyway. Let's see if we can get one more. Attraction. Yep. Law of attraction. You're bringing it all in towards you. Just keep, keep, keep going. This is amazing, you guys. 